Hey y'all, my name is Barton Siever. I'm a chef and an author and a seafood lover and I'm thrilled to be cooking with you again here on HEB. Cooking today some beautiful North Atlantic swordfish, one of my very favorite. I mean, who doesn't love an incredible piece of swordfish? Thick, juicy, succulent, moist, steak-like texture, but all that yielding, beautiful, flavorful goodness, right? Hey, swordfish. Swordfish on the grill, even better. So very easy. It's just, well, the fish, you know, nice thick, uh, steaks about an inch thick or so will take about eight to ten minutes on the grill depending on how hot your fire is all I do is simply salt and pepper them and then throw it on the grill directly over the coals I have most of my coals shoved over to one side why well that way I've got two cooking zones and what that allows me to do is well cook one thing slowly while I cook another thing high and hot right so it just gives you more sort of usability in your grill so four minutes or so per side on the swordfish, that's all it is. And that beautiful succulent, oh my gosh, the color on this, it's incredible. Crispy caramelized crust to it. Just gonna throw that on the platter there. And I've got just a very simple salad. Now you might call this a salsa or call it a salad, whatever you want. I just bulk it up, basically make more of it and it makes it a whole meal, but you can easily make it a sauce. Cilantro, lime juice, black beans, fresh corn just cut off the cob. I'll mix that together. Throw in some chili peppers if you want, but here we go. Nice big tuft of cilantro. Yeah, there we go. Even on a slightly rainy day well it don't matter none because when the food's this good it's all worth it so sustainable north atlantic swordfish steaks brought to you by heb enjoy